Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we are doing a work study or a career or profession reading. And the question we're asking is what is it that we need to be paying attention to? Or what is it that we what is it that's actually going on in our lives uh, in this regard? And what is our advice? And we are using tarot cards here. We have five options: option one, two, three, four, and five. Please choose a deck. Uh, that resonates with you, what you feel drawn to. And then uh, you could go down to the timestamp, which is in the description box below and go directly to the start of the video. So um, I'm going to go ahead and begin. If you'd like at this point, you can pause the video. So for those of you who have chosen the first option, which uh, has this cover here, the question we're asking is, Tell us everything that we need to know about our work situation as it stands at this moment. So that may also include uh, something that is going on that is right out of our nose, which we cannot see. And then give us some advice as to how to deal with this. So what is it that we need to be aware of? This may also just simply describe how you're feeling about your work situation or something that you're already well aware of. So your current situation in terms of your work here is that um, you you have been um, overloaded with things for quite some time, and you've been feeling very overwhelmed by it. You've been it's been taking quite a toll on you, but it's almost at that point where you're blasé about it now. It's almost at the point at which uh, you've gotten used to being able to carry this heavy burdens. Um, to to you've is, um, assimilated it into your life, where you are just um, carrying on with these heavy burdens as if they aren't there any longer. But actually, it's really taking a toll on you, and it's as if you haven't really um, you've accepted it. You haven't really uh, looked at it as it's taking a toll on you. You've seen it as something that you have to do as part of your work, as part of this contract, as part of this agreement. That you've made uh, and that is what's required of you and so you're going ahead with this and you're not recognizing it for the impact that's actually having on you at this moment however i do see that you're wondering about what else could be i see that um you you sometimes think about or you fantasize about or perhaps you've just recently begun thinking about what else could you be doing in your situation what what should you do this is also a scenario here where somebody is you you've actually mentioned to them that the, your workload is too much or you're just not happy in your scenario um i just want to go back to this card here you see this this can also talk about um you you not really being happy in your job in, in terms of what you need to be doing you're not really be uh, happy as you could be um you're putting in all the effort that you you can you have um you know you you you've you're quite skilled in your profession, but um, you're not actually appreciated for all that you can give in the situation. And um, it's like you you might have spoken to your, your boss or your superior. You might have, if you work for yourself, you might be aware of this, but uh, you ha there hasn't been a change. Okay, so that's the other point about this card. But you see here, you started you've started wondering about what it is that you can actually do you've been thinking about where it is that you can move to uh what kind of what options are available to you for some of you this is within the space that you work in and like within the company or in the neighborhood and for others of you it's looking as far as different continents or looking as far as other lands just simply imagining where can you go to uh what can you do and some of 
these uh, things that you've been thinking about is actually quite different from what you're actually doing right now. It's in completely different areas of your life. It's in completely different fields. And you're simply just wondering what it would be like to do these other things. Yeah, I feel, however, though, that you are, you're not in balance uh, in this scenario. You're not actually uh, able to come to a balance. It's, it's as if the, you may think that, you know, you're managing this okay. You might be a bit exhausted, but you're so used to being exhausted that it's just part of your life right now. And um, you're dreaming about this, but you're not in a state where you can actually bring, uh, where you can actually... Um, get off the ground one of these options you know whether it's moving to another company or another continent or another country or to another job simply or to moving to another department within your work you're just not able to get it off the ground at this moment and I feel that you still in a sense where you're trying to grab at the balance you know it's as if uh, it's a pendulum that's coming to a uh, still so it's like you're just kind of swinging and you're slowly coming to a point of stillness and groundedness. And this is actually what you're working towards right now. And I feel that over the next weeks, you will actually come to that space where you will be clear about what's actually going on within you and what decision you will need to make. If any decision, you might decide to stay within the scenario and simply try to change that. Or you might actually decide to, if you're brave enough, to actually step into step out and and really um go ahead and and take control in a way and and just be fearless about what you it is that you actually want and even reckless about what it is that you actually want but let's see what the cards suggest here for you so this is the advice that they're giving you right now um so what i'm seeing here is that uh, the advice that they're giving you here is that you ought not to, this is what you ought not to be doing, okay? You ought not to allow this to become something that you simply dream about, uh, but that you don't take action on. You ought not to let this uh, bring you, uh, spiral you down into a, a, some kind of depression. You ought not to let this um, this d d disappointment that you've experienced as a result of being in the scenario or as a re as a result of some kind of recent development in your work scenario or uh, or outside of your work scenario which has impacted in your work scenario uh you should you ought not to let that um define how you feel about your work you ought not to let this um yeah decide how you actually act upon your work or uh curtail you from actually making decisions that would be in your favor in regard to your work. The other thing I see here is that um, you, there's, you, there's a sense that you, they, they're saying here that you should not feel powerless. You should not feel that, you, you do not have to succumb to this. Yeah, this is not just a dream. You can make this a reality. And, but you need to, uh, Bring yourself to a space where you can rejuvenate yourself, where you can um, fill your tank again. Because I feel here that you're a little bit burnt out and that you just really need to take a break from it all and just um, go back in and and feed yourself. Uh, it's like you, quench, you, you, know, you need to quench that thirst. It's, yeah, I feel like you're really thirsty for a break. You're really thirsty for something new, for something creative, for something exciting, for some degree of life. Yeah, because this feels like a very mundane, boring routine here. And this is not actually doing anything for you. And the advice that you're given here is don't let it get to you. Don't let this disappointment take over you. And don't let it um don't don't let yourself spiral downward. Don't let just think that this is a fantasy and then begin thinking about that and, and get into and just kind of begin fantasizing about that and just leave it in that fantasy space. You know, work your way out of it, of that. And the other thing I'm hearing is don't, um, your power is, lo is, you're losing power here. Find a way, take some steps to be able to rebuild your power, to rejuvenate yourself, to work, uh, to work yourself through this burnt out feeling that you have, and then start uh, looking ahead, start looking beyond. And uh, don't succumb to this feeling of powerlessness because you may be coming, uh, you know, you may be coming in the next few weeks to, to a feeling that you've had enough and you're just tired and you can't really do anything at this stage. And in fact, you might be feeling this already for some time for some of you and it's going to exacerbate and you might be wondering, how can I actually make this change? 
how can I actually make this a reality? Uh, I don't see how I can actually make this reali a reality. It's just too far off. It's too much of a dream. Um, there's too much at stake here. I can't actually give up the current job I have. I can't really move. You know, this is something I can just dream about. But the, just dreaming about it is actually going to make you really depressed and make you really sad and make you feel like even more powerless about it. It's going to, the, the more you dream about this only and not be able to take any action steps towards making it a reality, the further away from you it will go and the, the more difficult it will be for you to actually regain your power and start planning and start uh, putting things into motion uh, towards a distant goal that you will have. So that is your message for those of you who've chosen the first deck. And I hope that you are able to, uh, if that resonated with you well, then I hope that you are able to take a break and feed yourself, give yourself something that you need in your life and give yourself what it is that you actually desire um, because you need to do that in order to be able to go on. Yeah, It's like you need to be able to find the oxygen within your work and um, within your life again. It's like somebody it's like somebody needs to kind of give you this uh, burst of oxygen or just give you a break, you know. And I think just a holiday or a break or just simply um, trying to find, you know, take small steps to rejuvenating yourself is actually the key to you uh, right here. All right, so I'm going to move on now to um, the second deck. Uh, that is this one here. And for those of you who've chosen uh, this deck here, we're asking about your work scenario. So for those of you who've chosen the second deck here, what I'm seeing is that um, there's a move coming up, maybe a move from one job to the next. Um, it's like you're riding forth ahead uh, and making some decisions and making some changes. You could be traveling, you could be try moving jo jobs, you may be um, it's like you have a decision to be made about whether you move uh, to another job. And this is a kind of a decision which is kind of reckless. And really, um, you're not really sure of what is ahead of you, what lies ahead of you. In fact, there is a part of you, uh, excuse the background noise, but there is a part of you that is aware that this is not the, the best way ahead. But you're choosing to go ahead with it anyway. Um, and I see that you're fairly, fairly determined to do so. And it's like you feel like you can, you have to move here and that you, you, you know, there's nothing that's going to actually hold you back. It's like the wheels have been set in motion. So you may have resigned from your job already and you may be on your way on to another job, but you don't actually know what awaits you there. And there's a decision to be made either before, either not right now uh, or when you get to this new job. And for some of you, I see that you may be making this decision when you actually come to your new job. And um, in some scenarios, uh, some of you may be moving because um, of love. You may be choosing to move to uh, move jobs or move, you know, universities or institutions or whatever you are in, whatever, however this applies to you, uh, because you're moving towards love. And when you come to that, you'll be needing to make a decision because actually what you're doing here is you, you're actually making a mistake, it seems. It seems like you... Um, while this card can can speak really very much of uh, new beginnings and openness and freedom and feeling free to go ahead, 
uh, what I see, what I'm feeling here is that this is actually a, a mistake for you. And that um, it's like um, the beings that are loyal to you are trying to hold you back from just, you know, falling over, making a big mistake. And um, even if you go ahead and make uh, this, what is what I'm calling a mistake, and you make this move here, it's okay to do so because you will learn from this. You will have the experiences that you need to. You may, it might be a little bit harder for you, but you won't know that until you've made this choice and you've gone ahead and you've actually done this. So yeah, there's no stopping you here. You're moving. Uh, you may be, as I said, resigning or you might be um, leaving your job. For those of you who that doesn't apply to, there is a sense that, um, you, you know, that you're thinking about moving or that you're thinking about are traveling or that you need to travel for work but this is a kind of reckless move that you're making and there's a decision to be made at the end of that okay so the advice that's given to you here is to work to um where to ask yourself where is it that you feel most fulfilled where is it that you feel loved in your work where is it that you feel appreciated in your work and where is it that you can do something where you feel uh, that you can bury yourself into it for hours and end. And it brings out the best in you. It brings out the meticulousness, the preciseness, the um, the part of you that wants to be a perfectionist and that is a perfectionist with ease. And it's not an obsessive kind of obsession, but ra um, perfection, I mean, but rather uh, something that really brings out the best in you and as a result brings out the best in the service that you're offering and the and the product or the delivery of that uh, service or the or the actual product itself so this is something where it's asking you where is it that you feel that in your life because this is where you need to be heading to don't just move into something just because uh there's an opportunity there or because you're moving to love don't just move because you feel determined to or because you're being pushed out of where you are yeah, make a very clear choice about what it is that you need to be doing for you and take time to do that. Take time to actually do this and to to ensure that you making the right decision by you. This is so important for you. I cannot uh, emphasize this. This is such a strong energy that I'm getting because here I feel like you're being pushed almost like you're being pushed out of the situation but that's because you just haven't had a chance to think about it and it feels like other people are behind this in some of your cases or that there are other forces acting upon you in order for you that's pushing you in this direction where you'll need to be making a decision later and I feel that the decision that you'll be making would will not be an easy one yeah if you when you move towards this in this direction you're not going to be making an easy decisions this is going to come so hard for you because you're going to it's like you're moving and you're going to be settled somewhere and you're going to be um going there and and then you're going to realize almost when you arrive there that oh this is actually not what i want because you don't have this here you don't have this work fulfillment you don't have the appreciation nobody values you in what you do nobody appreciates you nobody sees you in what you're doing here and you don't either and this is what you start longing for so I feel that for those of you who are making this move in the next few weeks or months um, by like February March you'll be this will be such an acute feeling that you'll be having that you cannot stay in that scenario you will have you won't regret that you've moved out of that scenario but you will you will um, backtrack on this here but you know go ahead and do it if that's what you need to do because as I said um, what the universe is what I'm being here what I'm hearing is that the universe has your back and they will teach you the lessons it may be a little bit hard but it actually will be what you need and um, I'm hearing that the advice though that like if you can't do that because yeah I feel that you're so determined and you can't stop yourself you like out of control or like it's not in your control like you know it might be that you've been removed from your job and you've been placed in another department or in another scenario another city another country and you're going into it without knowing what is about to hit you and when you get there it won't be so bad you know it won't be like something horrible but it just won't be this it won't be this this happiness this balance this um this this is what you need right now this is this balance this, this feeling that you that what you're doing has some kind of root it roots you to this earth to this planet to something divine and because you you gain so much of fulfillment from it it connects you to the inner part of you a part of you that you haven't actually known to have existed right now you become if you take time and you take you really take time to kind of um 
understand what it is that you who you are and what fulfills you really deeply and where it is that you need to come into your own being if you take the time to do that uh, I feel that you'll be in a much more powerful position where you'll be able to take action and you'll be successful in whatever you do because here I see you um, what they're saying is that in order to be successful in order to be to be uh, pow empowered and to move forth with uh, with a a lot of, um, not with aggression, but with a lot of power and a lot of knowing about what you want and how you want to go about getting it, you need to take time to actually know what it is that you want. Because right now, this person doesn't really know what they want. They're just kind of being pushed into this um, by the forces of the universe or circumstances or people or a situation where they may have made decisions before, but uh, which they now need to live by. Okay, Um so I'm, I'm hearing here, yeah, just take your time uh, to understand what it is that you really want to do, what it is that really fulfills you. And as a, and that will bring you to a space of knowing. And from there on, you'll be able to move with a certain degree of power and groundedness and solidity. And you won't be easily made, may be making mistakes. So you won't need to backtrack or anything like that you will um so yeah if if those of you who are moving and you need to move right now what is the advice here it's like to stay put to stay put where you are right now and figure out what it is that you want to want to do if you're resigning and you need to leave your job or something but before in the next few weeks or months then leave but stick don't, but don't move ahead in this reckless manner rather take time to get to know who you are and what you want and take a few weeks to do that and I think that quite soon after that like a few weeks later you will have a clear idea and you and ask for advice from the universe because I feel that you will actually get that you'll get some advice from the universe regarding the, the decision that you need to make here and um, you know just ask for that and 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 meditate upon it and and it will come to you what it is that you need to be doing because I can see that you don't really know what it is that you need to be doing. It's This is part of you that's yearning for that stability, that balance, that temperance within yourself. But you actually can't find it. So take the time to be able to figure that out. And I see that you haven't had that chance in the past. You haven't been in a situation where you've actually been given the opportunity to get to know where it is that you excel. You know, you excel at many, many things. But where is it that you excel and you are fulfilled by that? Where is it that you feel connected to your core, connected to the universe and connected to your colleagues as well as your work and your product or the, the service that you are delivering. And uh, where is it that you feel that all of these things are in balance, where all of these things are in sync and where you are, where all of these things, where you can tick the box on all of these things. And I think that that is what you need to be working towards here. All right. So um, that is it for those of you who've chosen this. And good luck with that. And just take your time here, okay? Because that's what's going to uh, yield um, this empowered feeling in you where you're going to know what you're doing. And it's going to lead you to a, a different space. It's going to lead you to a different direction. And I feel that you do take a moment here. You, you should take a moment here rather to be still and understand what it is that you need for you. All right. So thank you very much for those of you who've chosen the deck number two. For those of you who've chosen the deck number three, We are asking today, what is it that we need to know about our work? And what advice do we need from uh, regarding that? This may be our work, our career, our profession, our studies, uh, everything related to the pentacle world, the material world. Okay, so this is a very clear message here all right um the advice i'm just going to start usually i start with this uh but i want to speak i want to uh, start here because these cards are so clear and i want to say that 
the advice to you here in this scenario is that you work towards your stability, you work towards your legacy, you work towards what it is that's going to secure your status and your reputation and what's going to give you the most kind of concrete stability within your community, within your family life and within yourself. Where is it that you want to be ultimately? Focus on that and take the time to what I feel has happened here is that you've actually uh, lost interest in that. There's a degree of apathy here where you've you've forgotten you've wanted this previously, but because you've been you haven't received it soon um, anytime soon, um, you actually have lost hope regarding this. So yeah, I was saying that, you know, it's like you've, um, there's an apathy about what it is that you've truly desired. You've always known this is somebody who's, I would feel this is a very Capricorn feel that I'm getting here. This is somebody, uh, if you don't have Capricorn in your chart, anywhere in your chart, uh, it's somebody who's very driven to actually getting what they want. And um, they, they have long-term goals set out ahead of them. And they actually just want to move towards that. But somewhere along the line, these things here have happened and other things have happened that have le left you feeling um, uh, apathetic or um, not really in touch with what it is that you desire, not with, you're not in touch with the joys that would come about by bringing about the stability. And what the advice here uh, for you is that you should actually work with this, yeah? Find your truth again find what it is find a way to come back to the person that you used to be who desired these things because in doing so you will work away the apathy you know and you will the apathy is like a rash you know it's spreading on your skin and what you need to do is you need to to stop it you need to work on it and have it retreat you know and treat it for what however yeah you need to treat this apathy you need to treat this sadness you need to treat this depression you need to treat this um, feeling of despondency that you have here and work back to this clarity that you had about what it is that you wanted previously and if you can do that then you will be um you will have what you what it is that you've just what it is that you desire you will have exactly what it is that you desire from a material point of view you would have arrived so to say you would have um um, you would be in a situation where you have everything that you actually desire, or you would have reached your goals, you would have had the recognition, you would have the financial means, you would have the, um, the position that you want, uh, you would have created that for yourself, you would have the success in your company, um, if, if you're an entrepreneur, and um, you would be able to be in a position where you are making a contribution, in a, in, and it's appreciated. So what I see going on here, right, is that there is some kind of beginning uh, that's not something that was supposed to begin, something that seemed to be having a lot of promise, a lot of joy, something, a new pathway uh, that was supposed to open up for you has not really opened up for you. And it could also be a travel or move to a new job. It could be something where you're beginning a new project or you're beginning a new field of studies and maybe you've begun it, but it's not exactly what it is that you expected it to be. And it's as if you've had this door slammed in your face here and you are feeling very unhappy about this. Yeah, you're not you're not at all happy about this. It's not going the way you've wanted it to go. And, you know, whereas it showed the promise of being really successful and really uh, you know, taking all the boxes and just being the happiest move that you could be making and offering you so very much, whereas it had the promise of that, it's actually causing you a, a great deal of stress and uh, it's like there, you don't know what to do in this situation. You're overwhelmed. You don't know what choice to make. You don't know which direction to go into. You don't know who to speak to. You don't know what to do. You're kind of like uh, at uh, a sense of bewilderment uh, for what it is that you need to do now because uh, this is like I feel like you've been shocked by how this has actually turned out and so here I'm seeing that um, you know what what could have been the, the what could have offered you the world is actually offering you much less than that and this has shocked you and it's left you wandering and in despair and I think that that's what's led to this apathy because the hope here was so great the hope was you know, that you could 
have so much from this situation. You could, you, it, it was like this was going to make all your dreams come true. You were going to have the world from this. But it turned out not to be that way. It turned to, uh, out to fall way be, below your expectations. And it might be, it stunted your growth. It stunted the project. It stunted, um, it stopped something. It, it um, or delayed something, but quite significantly. And it, instead of giving you a feeling of accomplishment and success, and um, it's giving you a feeling of being burdened and being, um, being, um, yeah, having to take on too much. But I also get the sense here, it's not just that. It's not just taking on too much. It's not just having all these things that you need to balance. It's like really hard for you because you don't really have a solution here. It's not like you're just managing all these different things and it's really hard. You you really just don't have a clue as to how to get this uh, sorted out. You don't have a clue as to how to actually come back. Uh, because what I see, I feel like you, instead of... Um, like sitting within the situation, accepting it for what it is, I feel like you're still uh, struggling with the disappointment of it. And uh, that's absolutely fine, you know, because you were expecting so much and so you are quite disappointed here. And I'm not suggesting that you should go on feeling this way and I'm not suggesting that it's wrong at all for you to be feeling this way. But what I, I do see that um, you could, what you could be doing is you could be accepting the situation for what it is, understanding that it hasn't worked out the way you wanted it to work and it's not really going to be uh, what it is that you hoped it would be. And uh, all the work that you put in here, all the hope that you put in here has not come to fruition in the way that you've expected it to. And uh, instead of feeling, well, you know, kind of lethargic and apathetic and bored and just, you know, turning your focus away from it, escaping from it, that you should actually go back here and find out what it is, you know, go back to the drawing board. Who is it that you wanted to be when you were 17? Who is it that you wanted to be when you were 14? And what is it that you actually truly desired then? And then go from there and work on that. And when you are able to get rid of this apathy and you deal with this here and you let go of that and you start working towards this, you're going to get to a point where you almost have it. Yeah, you're going to get so close to it. Well, it's going to very, very quickly, you're going to be seeing um, this progress in your life and this, you're almost going to have the world, you know, and it's something that you're certainly going to be on your way to having the world. You're certainly going to be on your way to having this. And I think that um, you're going to be surprised, just like how you're surprised at how disappointed and like how, well, you're kind of shocked at how disappointing this whole thing is. Here, you're going to be shocked and, dis and, and surprised at how fast things are going to fall into place and how quickly things are going to turn around for you you just need to work with this okay find your joy again find your happiness again and um just focus on what it is that you truly want focus on the end goal Fo see yourself where it is that you want to be because that is actually your key here to uh come getting what it is that you desire all right so I hope that's been useful for you and helpful for you for those of you who've chosen the third uh option here for those of you who've chosen this deck here, this is the number four, okay? Uh, what is it that you need to know regarding your work? What is it? What is the current situation with regard to your work or your career, your profession, your studies? turned over a few minutes ago and I always just put them back and see if they come out again and if they come out again I know that it absolutely has to be here and I love this kind of affirmation Wow, so this is actually a really nice reading. I love it. Um, 
So what I see here is that, you know, I feel like you've been contemplating or you've been taking the time to think about what it is that you need to be doing or you've been going inward and actually reflecting upon this. And you've been trying to find uh, where it is that you've gone off your path. You've been uh, trying to find, uh, you've been wondering why is it that you've gone off your path? You've been wondering why it is that you had a certain goal in mind and things are not actually working out in that way as yet or that things haven't come to fruition as yet. And you've been wondering what it is that you need to be doing in order to be able to change that, in order to be able to uh, move things ahead, in order to be able to have your goals in sight once again. Because what I feel here is that you've been you've made some steps to uh, go in a certain direction, and then at some point you kind of lost your way, and so now you're wondering, like, how can I get back on my path? How can I actually, what do I need to do to get back in my path? And um, it's what, the, what, they, what they're showing me is that you're going to be changing something. You're going to be taking control and actually changing something, making a huge, um, massive change in your life. And, um, you know, just kind of basically perhaps leaving your job or moving or just walking out of, a certain situation it's something that you've been contemplating for a while it's something that you know you've you've thought so much about it's actually it's given you um quite a lot to ponder about quite a lot to go inward and think about and i feel like this is something that you've been meditating upon it's um it's as if uh you know the the situation is um it's something that's you've taken inward, yeah. You're not. It's not been something that's been playing outward of you. This is something that's working internally in you, and uh, you, you know, you're just trying to figure out how it is that you can come back on your path. How is it that you can set uh, yourself back in motion towards the success that you were heading towards previously? And you recognize that in order to do that, you need to change a lot of things. But that you are the one who needs to change this. Yeah, you are the one who actually needs to. Uh, to make this change you are the one who needs to initiate this and I think that that's where you're at at this moment so here what I see is that you actually uh, this is so such a nice reading because I feel that you really know what's going on here and you're not in a in a desperate state and you you're not in a you know you you really have good control over the situation as well as over yourself you're a very strong person and you you've considered things and i feel like you have a, a great deal of experience here not in terms of perhaps not necessarily in what you're doing uh, although that may be true as well but rather the kind of experience i'm talking about here is a certain life experience like you can take a you know a look at things from a bird's eye perspective and actually uh work on it from there and the advice that they're giving you here is actually to, uh, what, what they're saying is that you have everything that you need to create anything that you want, that you're actually in a space right now where you can manifest anything that you desire, and that, in fact, this is a state that you're in, and that you can, in fact, uh, not just now, but like for quite some time, and you, you, can, you just need to make a decision here. You need to make a decision about where you're headed. Stop thinking about it. Take the action. Contemplate what the action is going to be here. And use everything that you have to be able to set this in motion. Uh, I'm hearing the word galvanize. Yeah. And so put this into motion. Um, decide on what it, where it is that you're headed. Make the changes. Bring them into being through visualization first. Bringing them into being through ritual. Bring them into being by just thinking about it and thinking about where you're going to. And recognize that you have the power to do whatever it is that you um, that you desire and that you can actually create what it is that you desire. And I feel that you know that and that you have that already. It's just a matter of you being able to create it. So just take the time that you need to stop thinking about it. You make a decision around it. And uh, when you've done that, when you're happy with that, when you're comfortable with that, then make these, you know, go through these changes that you need to be done and then start your whole new beginning uh, where you know and you trust and you feel that it's all going the way that you want it to go. And if, if there's a huge change that you need, I see that there's a huge change that you need to make here. But the other thing that I'm seeing here, it's like you make a change, but you will move in an opposite direction. Um, 
And so, but that direction is in accordance with what you've been thinking about recently. But it's not in accordance with where you've been headed to previously. And uh, in order to get this off the ground, you might need to visualize it first. I know I've said this already, but the reason I'm saying it again is because this might not be so readily available in a material world. You need to put your your manifestation powers and your law of attraction powers at work here in order for you to uh, bring this into being. And you definitely are able to do that and you're definitely capable of having that result. And when you do so, you'll be uh, making a step in a new direction. There'll be a brand new beginning, not just in terms of your work, but also in yourself and who you are. And I feel like it brings something uh, you, like this. It kind of lightens the seriousness in your life, like the decision that you make and the work, the, the direction that you're being asked to go into now, because this is your advice here, right? So they're saying, are they advising you? manifest what you actually desire and then as a result of that you'll bring a lightness into your life you'll bring uh, an easiness into your life you'll bring something that you've been, that's been lacking in your life for quite some time now you'll bring it into being and you'll actually just uh yeah it'll it'll become so effortless you know whereas here it seems to be you've been wondering why you're on this route and how is it that you got here? And this kind of energy kind of feels quite heavy to me, whereas this feels so much lighter and easier. And it's like you just decide to do this and you summon your power to make it manifest, to, yeah, to bring it into being. And then you begin brand new. And the result of this is that you you actually have whatever it is that you desire. Yeah, it, it's like you, you're sitting there with this pentacle and uh, you, you're protecting it. And... I feel like here you've you've need you need to protect it here because in the past you've lost it and you've had some losses here which you've incurred and so when you begin anew and you accumulate this wealth and you accumulate um yeah you 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 actually uh, save up your money or you you have some some gains and profits that come your way you're going to be um saving it you're going to be investing it wisely you're going to be keeping it close to you you're going to be keeping your cards close to your chest so to say and actually not uh, share this with too many people you're going to be more protective over it because here you've learned what can actually happen you're going to be watching very closely and you're going to be um, carving your path in a very uh, um, efficient way so that is your advice here. And I feel this is, a, this is a really great reading because it feels like it can be so effortless and so easy to do this. And I feel that a lot of the work has been done already here uh, and in the past. And it's just about making a couple of decisions, going through uh, the motions and working really very much in, in raising your vibration to the level that you can attract actually what it is that you desire here and, and stepping into this new beginning. And your rewards are right here. So thank you for those of you who've chosen the fourth option. Uh, I hope that uh, re does resonate with you. And if it doesn't, well, um, yeah, just move on. Uh, so those of you who've um, chosen uh, this deck here, it's the last deck. It's the number five. And the question we're asking here is, what is going on in our work, our career, our profession, all our studies? Okay, so this this reading is quite different from the others that we've done here uh, so far. And uh, what I'm seeing here and what I'm feeling is that there may be some deception with regard to money. Somebody may be uh, dishonest with you. Somebody may be taking advantage of you and getting you to do more than you should within a work context. Or they may be stealing from you. 
uh, or they may be, um, or something that you've um, actually decided to do is not uh, working out the way you've wanted it to, all right? And so you, it's like you've been lied to. It's like you've been told, well, come on, uh, on and, and do this with us and work here. And then they've given you a lot to do and they've not uh, compensated you for that. Or you are made to do a lot more than you should. And this is also against the company policy or, or it's against their policy. But they are choosing to go ahead and do it anyway. And uh, they take advantage of you. You know, they're sucking the power out of you. And um, they are not paying you enough. They're not compensating you. So I feel this is a double blow here. And there's going to be communication about that. There's going to be a back and forth. There's going to be a torrent of back and forth information. And um, you're going to be addressing this. And I feel that uh, as you do that, it's going to cause you a great deal of uh, anguish. And what they're saying here, this is your advice. And what they're saying here is that it's okay to feel this anguish. It's okay to feel this because this is a situation where you've been taken advantage of and you've been treated poorly. Um, you've not been treated well. You've been taken advantage of. This person is, these people that you're working with, or this person that you're working with, I feel like in some cases it's just one person. But they've really, you know, used you. Uh, and they uh, have, they owe you. They owe you, quite simply. Yeah, they owe you money. They owe you time. They they owe you energy. It's like they've been a vampire. They've just sucked you dry. And um, what they're saying here, it's okay to mourn that. It's okay to take the time out to actually feel what it feels like. Because here, um, you know, they're not advising you to worry about it. They're not advising you to, to struggle with it. But they're saying that you need to heal from the situation. In, in order to do so, you can't deny it. You need to look at it, um, you know, right. You look at need to look right at it. And deal with it head on and actually just, uh, you know, grieve, go through that process of grieving, uh, what, you know, acknowledge it for what it is, see it for what it is, take on the full extent of, um, of the hurt that it's caused you, you know, you don't need to be putting up with this any longer and, uh, you need to just speak your mind and, and stand in your truth and, and tell them, you know, that it's not acceptable, that you're not being compensated enough, you're not being paid enough, or you you haven't been receiving what it is that you desire in this situation, and that they've been dishonest with you, and that you're not going to put up with this anymore, and that, you know, you, you, could, you need to speak about it, and I feel that there will be, that it might be a fiery conversation, and that would hurt you, um, and it'll make you feel vulnerable, and it'll make you feel really sad, and, and but it's okay to, to go through this, because um, you need to mourn what it is that you've experienced here you need to feel that you need to get in touch with those emotions and when you've done so uh you will feel a great deal of relief so you know if you it is that you need a good cry here please go ahead and do so because this is going to be quite cathartic for you if it is if it, you've, this is also going to be quite cathartic for you where you just basically tell them what it is that you need to say but i feel that it'll hurt you to do so this also brings a completion yeah, when you've done this, uh, it brings a completion to this scenario here. This ends. And well, the advice that they're giving you is to do things in a non-traditional way. So until now, you might have been um, really uh, doing things by the book and doing things as it's expected of you and really just following all the rules and sticking with what it is that you, that you are uh, supposed to be doing and what it is that you are ex expected to do. But what they're saying, the advice here is to mourn. And when you've mourned, when you've actually let go of this grief that you're holding on to, when you can let go of this anger, this, this sadness that you feel as a result of being taken advantage in this way, or this, the, that these things have played out in this particular way, where it feels like it's, it's, um, you know, it's like you're a victim of it, uh, then when you've done that, when you've worked through that, when you've healed that, do things in an unconventional manner, you know, don't, don't expect the high, the hierarchy or don't expect the, the, those who are, are with the sources that you would normally go to, uh, to actually help you do things out of the ordinary. So if you would, if you work in a company and you'd normally go to the human resources to help you to, uh, to, to resolve this matter, it's not going to work. It's not, that's not what they're advising you to do because you, you won't find your solution there. Yeah. You'd find your solution in actually just, uh, dealing with this head on use unconventional means whatever it is that applies to you within your context to actually 
resolve the situation. You know, in some situations, I feel like you might just walk out of there. You might not even begin a, um, a process of arbitration or mediation, but you might just walk out of there. Um, I feel like you, whatever it is, you know, you know what it is. And I feel that this will come as an, as a, like an impulse outside of, uh, or at the back end of you having worked through all these emotions here, it'll suddenly become clear to you that you've been really good here and that you've given too much of yourself. And actually what it is that you need to do at this moment is to let go and to break free. And you're not going to, uh, be compliant with the institution uh, anymore. You're not going to be compliant with the rules anymore. And you're simply going to break free and walk away from it. And I feel that the uh, the point at which this is like really positive at the end, because what you gain from here is a certain degree of respect that you have for yourself, for the craft that you have, for the skills that you have. You, you, you are seeking in this moment the acknowledgement for the work that you've done and you're not receiving it yeah and it brings you back it kind of slows things down for you like this is a really hectic pace where I feel like you've been you know you've been it's like you've been enslaved in this scenario I oh got the, the it's like you've really been taken advantage I'm sorry I can't I can't find the words to I, these, these emotions so these what I feel when I when I when I when I'm looking at this is that it, it's it's something that you don't even understand how much you've they've taken advantage of you or how much you've been used in the situation and when when it slows down and when things um return back to normal because you stepped away from this or you've had an outburst with them and you've walked out on them or you've decided to do whatever it is that um you wouldn't normally do that's not characteristic of you then uh it brings you back to a point where you can start to appreciate yourself and your the work that you do the skills that you have the the um the products that you prepare or make and it gives you more time to be able to enjoy simply doing what you love doing and doing and doing a good job of it and really basically working uh in a way that it brings you happiness and joy and fulfillment and a sense of yourself and this card has come up in almost all these readings here and it's wonderful because this is really a work card and it's, it's a card of where you're working and it's it's, it's uh, upright and it's a card of where you're working in in a scenario and really enjoying yourself really you know you're smelling the roses by doing what you love and you are happy with your product. It doesn't, in this scenario here, I feel it doesn't matter. It's not relevant to you right now what others think of you in this scenario or what others think of your work. It's just that you are happy in what you were doing and uh, you don't need to deal with this kind of energy. This energy may be also a bit surreptitious um, or like um, it might be under the covers like it might be not direct like maybe you don't work for these people but maybe these people are your your audience or your viewers or your clients that are putting you under a lot of pressure and very demanding very difficult and they always want more from you you know and here you're saying well you know really now that's enough and um you take some time to heal from that and you do things differently you take a different approach, but ultimately the approach that you're taking is that you're taking time to enjoy your craft once again, because that is what brings you the feeling of, um, um, yeah, it brings you this feeling of being with yourself and knowing and, um, it brings you this work satisfaction. Thank you, spirit. I've been actually trying to figure these words out. It works. It brings you this work satisfaction that, uh, you've been, you haven't been able to feel in the recent while here. So uh, that is it for those of you who've chosen um, these cards here. I hope that message resonated with you and uh, hope that ha has helped you uh, in some way. And I thank you all for passing by today and um, partaking in these readings. This is actually a, a, a reading uh, that I've wanted to do for a, re for a long, long time, but I've waited until the energy has past and uh, before I could do that because I felt that the energy that we were in in the last few weeks would not um would not really allow you to uh, really truly appreciate these messages that we're going to come to you and so I've waited for the energy to pass and I know that a few of you have requested work readings and career readings and money readings and all of this kind of stuff and uh yeah I have taken my time to go about doing it and I hope that um 
that this does help you in some way at this stage. And I really hope for all of you that you're able to come to a good space in terms of your work in the next um, few weeks or months. Okay, so much love to all of you and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.